Hi, I'm Glyn Dewis, and in this short video, I want to show you how you can use Adobe Premiere Pro to frame your videos so that when you upload them to social media, they look perfect. Okay, so recently I've been out doing some filming for Sony of a surfer on the beach in Devon, both running on the beach and also surfing some of the waves. And if we dive into Premiere Pro, you can see some of that footage. So here on my timeline, I've just literally dragged some of it onto it. And you can see we've got her handheld gimbal footage here using a Sony a7S III and the DJI Ronin RS2 of uh, Jack walking. We've got some aerial footage here with the drone of him running, some slow-mo, some transitions. And then eventually when Jack uh, gets onto the waves being filmed with a drone and it's this footage here as the drone is coming back filming Jack as he rides the waves where he goes from left to right on the frame where there are potential issues if this is uploaded onto social media. Now it just so happens that I did share some of this footage on social channels uh, and BBC Radio Devon actually noticed this and asked if we could send over a widescreen original kind of format version of the footage for them to then share. And obviously that's great, it's great promotion. It's also great for the surf school that Jack owns. However, when they shared it, it didn't really come out how it should do because obviously we want Jack to be the main focus as he's the surfer. But when they shared it onto Instagram, this is how it looked. So you can see now, as it starts to play, no problems because Jack's right in the middle of the frame, but it's when he's on the waves and he's going from left to right that he starts to go completely off the screen. He then reappears and then he goes back off the screen. Now, obviously when this was filmed, the drone's just coming back rather than me panning and guessing where Jack's gonna be going from left to right. But there are ways that we can actually reframe this very easily in Premiere Pro so that when it is uploaded onto social media, be it in a one by one square format or in a vertical kind of format that the main person or the main subject of your video remains in the center. So it's kind of like a fake camera movement to keep him there. This is incredibly easy to do. Let's dive back into Premiere Pro. So here we can see now then over in the projects uh, area of Premiere Pro, we've got our footage, we've got the music, we've got the transitions, but here is the actual sequence. Now, if I right click on this sequence here, one of the options we have is auto reframe sequence. Let's just click on that. It brings up this dialog box here, the auto reframe sequence, where we've got the name of the footage or the name of the sequence we're actually working on. And it says in here, one by one. Now that's because we can now choose what aspect ratio do we want this video to be shown in. Now, Instagram, square crop, one by one. Uh, so we'll leave it there for the moment. We do have other options where we've got verticals in four by five, we've got a, 16, a nine sixteen, we've got the widescreen format. We could even choose a custom size that we want this video to be made into. We've also got the bottom here, tracking. Now this is gonna be the speed in which the fake camera movement happens to follow your subject. Pretty much most of the time, default's gonna work, but you do have options in there of a slower movement or a faster movement. I'll only leave it in default for this one. The very bit at the bottom here says clip nesting. Now, my particular footage has transitions in it, so I don't want anything to happen to those. I want to, the footage to remain as it is with each little thing on its own little bit of timeline. So I'm gonna leave it there where it says don't nest clips. So we'll just leave it at that. And all I need to do, and this happens so quickly, is just click create. Now, when I do, just what, look what happens here in the program window. Let's just click on create, and there we go. So now we've got a square one by one format video. Now look, if I just drag on the timeline and move it across, there's Jack in the center. He remains in the center, he's in the center there, still in the center, and now this is the bit. When it gets onto the waves and Jack goes from left to right, can you see now how he's still keeping in the center of the frame? And that's because Premiere Pro has created this fake camera movement to be able to follow him. Now let's just go back a little bit, let's just undo that to go back to our original 16.9 uh, uh, format there. And let's just say that we want to upload this to maybe uh, Instagram story, which is a vertical orientated. So again, we come into the media browser. I'm just gonna right click on the sequence, auto reframe sequence. And in here, we've got the name again, the target aspect ratio. This time we'll go for a 916. Again, you could choose custom, but let's just go for nine by 16 and we'll click create. 
instantly it does it and we can see now we've got this vertical kind of phone uh, orientation of the video and if i drag the video on the timeline again jack stays in the middle when it gets to the surfing even though it's a narrower frame he still remains in the center So there you go, it's a very, very quick way of using what they call auto reframe in Premiere Pro CC, a great way that you can make your videos look their very best when you've got moving content in it when you upload them onto social media. Now, if you haven't already, if you want to support this channel, by all means, click on the subscribe button. It's a great way that you can help. And also click on the bell icon there to make sure that you get notified of any new videos that are coming out. I'll see you next time.